Welcome back, this is Dr. Chen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about L-theanine. What is it, where is it derived from? Um, what kind of dosages can we take to derive the benefits? So L-theanine has been known to help improve stress and anxiety. It's the most abundant water-soluble non-protein amino acid found in Camellia sinensis leaves, okay? It's basically a relaxing agent. It helps to relax our, our minds, our, our bodies. A 2016 study showed different concentration of different leaves, and it showed that green tea had the highest concentration, <clears throat> followed by white tea, followed by oolong tea, and then black tea, right? Highest to lowest concentration. It's been found to be neuroprotective, so it helps actually has an antioxidant effect, really. Improves attention and decreases stress. So if we look at it, <clears throat> L-theanine, the bioavailability is pretty high, 72 to 74% bioavailability. It also crosses the blood-brain barrier. So what that means, it has a neurological and neuroprotective effect. It crosses the blood-brain blood barrier pretty quickly, right? within an hour or so. Most studies use 200 to 400 milligrams per day to see if it has an impact. So there's studies on hypertension, uh, obsessive compulsive disorders, attention deficit disorders, sleep, insomnia, and those types of things. When they did studies on it, it usually is pretty well tolerated. So they've done 400 milligrams per day for eight weeks with really no adverse effects. So it's a pretty safe um, nutrient. The main uses is really anxiety, cognitive function, insomnia, which is another good one, right? Stress and relaxation. So it has all that calming or what we call parasympathetic effects uh, to our body. Now, it's quite expensive to extract uh, the active ingredients uh, from the tea leaves. So to create L-theanine from natural sources and extract it from the leaves um, gets quite expensive and it doesn't yield a lot although the purity is very good. Now there are commercially available products like sun theanine, which is a, you know, basically a chemical process to extract theanine. However, uh, there are some concerns about using it because uh, this L-theanine, uh, the L version, and also a D version. So there are some concerns. Although a 2000, I think 16, 2006 study or 2004 study showed that it had very, very minimal amounts of the D polymer. So um, I would just suggest, suggest taking the green tea or uh, a oolong tea or black tea and drinking that maybe a couple hours before bed for rest and relaxation. Or if you're a highly anxious person, you can start off that way in the morning. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.